Hello, hello. Hi, class. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, hello. Class. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thursday. Ya estamos en jueves. So I just can see Lorena, Ruth, eh, Guadalupe, and Glenda. Okay, how about boys? ¿Dónde están los chicos? ¿Qué se han hecho? Aquí estoy. No lo puedo ver. I cannot see you. Espere, no voy a poner. Okay, there you go. I can see Jorge. Hi, Jorge. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you today? ¿Cómo ha estado su Ay, great. inicio de jueves? Great, good, so-so. Great. Great. Okay, I'm really glad to hear that. I can say Are the you? same. Yes. It, it's been a very good day. Un muy buen día, okay? So, I'm really happy to be here today. Uh, you know, I was checking the platform and it's already up. Ya está la plataforma de regreso. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos con los ejercicios? Vamos por section number four, sección número cuatro. Necesitan apoyo en alguna actividad de la plataforma o cómo vamos? Vamos al día. Quiero escucharlos. ¿Cuál plataforma, teacher? Así. Estamos al día. Ejercicio? Al día. Muy bien. Muy bien. Eso me alegra. Ustedes son muy puntuales tanto para conectarse. Y para los ejercicios de plataforma. Lo felicito, créanme. So, now I can see Josué. Hi, Josué. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Josué. Very good. So, let's wait just one more minute. Un minuto más para poder empezar. Okay. Yesterday, we were practicing pronunciation. Regular verbs, pronunciation. Ok. Estábamos Teacher, practicando. Dígame. Mañana tenemos clase. Yes. Mañana tenemos clase. <ríe> we do, we do. Thank you, teacher. But don't worry. No se preocupen porque, ¿por qué hicimos esto? Porque finalizamos miércoles de la otra semana. No finalizamos el otro viernes, sino que el miércoles de la otra semana. Por eso es que tuvimos que agarrar viernes esta vez, ¿ok? Pero es el único 27. que va a ser. Yes, 27. So don't worry. Lo vamos a compensar el otro jueves y viernes. No more classes, ¿ok? So don't worry. Pero sí, eh, va a ser el único curso que tenemos viernes también clases. Los demás de lunes a jueves. Porque vamos a ir a tiempo con las clases. ¿Ok? So don't worry. Here we go. So I already have eight students. Ya somos, no, nine students, nine. So let me show you what we have for today. Look, this is class number 12. Ya vamos por la clase número 12. Super rápido. Yo he sentido que ha sido muy rápido. Here we go. Look, we are still on section number four. Did you have fun? And in this class, we are going to continue with verbs in past, but irregular verbs. Nos vamos a pasar ya a los irregulares y siempre practicar la correcta pronunciación, pronunciation, okay? This is class number 12. Ese es el tema para ahora siempre, verbs in past, pero son irregular, irregular verbs and pronunciation, okay? So that is the topic for today. And as a warm up, para empezar, we don't have a tongue twister. En vez de tener un tongue twister, ahora necesito escucharlos con la pronunciación. Do you remember that we have three different sounds? Tenemos tres sonidos diferentes. Estos son los sonidos. I, D, T, and D. It, T, and D. Okay? And we have voiceless and voiced sounds. Algunos se pronuncian con voiceless and voiced sounds. So I need you to practice right now. Let me see. Tengo tres grupos de verbos. Los que terminan con t, el sonido de la T, t el sonido de la D y it. Okay. 
So here we go. Let's start with this one. T sounds. And I have eight examples. Eight examples. Vamos a leer el verbo en pasado, ¿ok? Solo nos vamos a enfocar en the last column. Última columna. Quiero escucharlos. A ver cómo sonamos. This one. T sound. This is the one that we are going to practice right now. And the first one that I have here, el primero que tengo en mi pantalla is, uh, let me see, Lorena. Lorena, you're the first one. So can you help me, Lorena, to pronounce these verbs in past, please? Uh, working. Okay. Don't forget, tenemos el sonido de la T al final. Work, work. es el verbo base okay. y luego decimos T. Work. T. Okay. Go. ¿Cuántos? Todos, all of them. Oops. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can do it. <laughs> Worked. Cooked. Walked. Kissed. Liked. Stopped. Locked. Dropped. Okay. Can you repeat this one? Uh, walked. Okay. Listen. Walk. Walk, es como que la L no tiene sonido ahí, sería walk, 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 bien, no olvidemos esta, walk, excellent walked. pronunciation, T, Jorge, mm -hmm. can you try with this pronunciation please, los mismos verbos, go, works, good, Watch, kids, likes, stops, looked, dropped. Okay, one more time, this one. Kiss, um, La I don't Kiss. Kiss. Okay, yes, porque yo escuché kiss, sonido mm -hmm. de S, pero es con terna, kiss. 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 Excellent. So, excellent pronunciation. Josue, can you try reading these verbs in past, please? Okay, teacher. Work. Cooked. Walk. Kissed. Light. Stopped. Looked, dropped. Okay, very good. Just this one, Josue. Go ahead, please. Walked. Walked. Very good. Walked. Como que no lleva la L. Walked. 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 Algo así sonaría. Walked. Okay, very good job. Okay. Great job. Walked. So now let's see. Let's continue with everybody is going to participate. Okay. Ellen Nilsson, can you help me with this group of verbs? Look, estos son con el sonido final. D. Can you read all of the verbs, please? Go. Okay. Plate. Okay, great. Continue. Eh, el segundo no lo puedo pronunciar. Okay, if you want, I'm going to pronounce. Lo voy a pronunciar yo, and then you, okay? Okay. Played. Showed. Closed. Opened. Enjoyed. Loved. Tried. Rained, learned, cleaned. Okay. Si se pierden y se les olvida, aquí tenemos el verbo en su base y solo le agregamos el sonido al final. Okay. Go, Elenison. Played, show, close, open, and Enjoyed, love, thrill, rain, lear, 
y clear. Cleaned. Okay, this one. Let me see. I need you to read this one again. Try. Try. En presente, try. Pasado. Um, tried. Tried. Yes. Don't forget, tenemos que hacer sonar ese sonido final, si no, yo estaría escuchando los verbos en presente. Y la idea es que se distingan, ¿ok? But great job. Solo esa es la corrección. Excelente. Let me see. I have Ruth. Can you please practice saying these verbs in English, please? Go. Okay. Great. Plate. Shout. Float. Open. Enjoy. Float. Find. Paint. Learn. Clean. Very good job. Very good. Si sí puede distinguir ese sonido final. Excellent pronunciation, Ruth. Congratulations. Very good job. And the last one for this group of verbs, eh, Guadalupe, can you please try? Played, showed, closed, opened, enjoyed, loved, tried, right, learned, cleaned. Excellent. Pude también distinguir el sonido final. Excellent job in pronunciation. Very good. So let's go and practice with the last group. This is the last one. Eat. Let me pronounce the verbs and then some of you are going to help me. Okay. The first one. Wait. Wait it. Wait it. Want it. Want it. Need it. Decide it. Hate it, taste it, and it. Okay. En el segundo, want, want. Es como que le quitamos, si se fijan, la letra T. Want it, want it. No decimos want it, uh -uh. want it, want it. Tal vez ese es el más difícil ahorita. So, who I have here, uh, Glenda, can you please try with this pronunciation? Okay. Okay. Waited. Great. Mm. Wanted. Yes. Needed. Decided. Hated. Tasted. Ended. One more time, we decide. Repitamos, decide. Decide. One more time. Decide. Estoy escuchándolo en presente, decide. In past. Decided. 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 Eat. Uh -huh. Decided. Very good job. So that's the only one. Great pronunciation. Excellent job. Let me see, Janira, can you try with this pronunciation? Okay. Teacher, solo una preguntita. El yeah. último se dice indir. In, indir. And. Endir. Endir. Muy bien, Janira. Ah, Endir. Okay. Thank you. Go. Eh, why did. Mm -hmm. eh, why mm -hmm. eh, Needed. Decided. Hated, tasted, ended. Very good pronunciation. Excellent job. Gabriela, can you try, please? And waited, wanted, needed, decided, hated, taste, tasted, ended. Very good pronunciation. Excellent job. And I have who's next? Who's there? Who's there? Who's missing? Carlos, can you try with this one? Yes, teacher, are you ready? 
Okay, go ahead, eh, please. The, las tres columnas, o solamente una. No, just the last one. The one that is in red. Uh, okay, go. Wait, wait, need, decide, fail, listen, and. Okay, but in past. ¿Cuál es el sonido que tenemos que practicar? It, want it, need it, decide it. So one more time, Carlos. En pasado. Okay. Go. Wait. Very good. Wait. Need. Decide. Need. Listen. End. End. Okay. Very good job. Uh, Ivania, can you try with this group of verbs? Hi, Miss. Okay. Okay. Hi. Waited. Wanted. Bueno, veo que se tiene que eliminar la T. Yeah, in the second no, one, one, yes. One is. One is. Okay, one is. Needed, decided, hated, tasted, ended. Okay, excellent job. Let me see. Alberto, let's go back with this group. Go back. Wait. Okay, wait, wait. Vamos a practicar el grupo anterior con Alberto. This ones. Go, please. Con todos. Go. Ah, okay. Played, showed, closed, opened, enjoyed, loved, tried. Write it. Uh, learn it. Uh, learn. 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 Uh, cleaned. Cleaned. Very good. Solo cleaned. learned. One more time. Learned. Learned. Okay. Ese es el que escucha. Learned. Then, great job. Very good. Who else? Veamos quien más me falta escuchar, evaluar. Uh, Rita. Are you there, Rita? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Don't yes. worry. This is just practice. <laughs> okay. okay, go please. Play it to it. Close it. Open it. Enjoy it. Love it. Try it. Train it. Learn it. Clean it. Okay, this one. Can you repeat this one? Close. Close it. Ok, decimos close y al final decimos de, closed. Closed. It. Ajá, excellent. And this is the other one. Try. Try. Try it. it. Try it. Try it. Uh -huh. So, please, no nos confundamos solo porque en la escritura lleva e, de, pero si se fijan no estamos diciendo ed. Mm -mm, decimos solo la letra D, el sonido de la D al final. Tried, tried, right. tried, exacto. Right. Es, es como que estemos leyendo el verbo en presente y solo le agregamos al final el sonido D. Played, showed. Ok. So don't get confused, but very good job. Who is missing? ¿Quién me falta? I want to listen to all Someone. of you. Samuel, let me see, where is Samuel? <laughs> Samuel, who else? Hello, Wait, hello. Let, let me stop here. Who is missing? I'm still missing. Yes, Samuel. Gustavo, right? Or este, did you participate? Edenilson. Edenilson as well. And just, just three, right? Solo ustedes tres. So let's go with this group. Vamos con este grupo. D. Let's go. Samuel. Hello, hello. Uh, play, show, close, open, enjoy, love, try, train, play, and clean. Okay, only this one. This one. Can you repeat this one? Length. 
learn, learned, learn. Learns. El verbo es learn, learns. aprender uh -huh. y en pasado learned. Learns. One more time. I know you can do it. <laughs> learned. Learns. <laughs> No, yo escucho otra cosa. Learned. One more time. Go, please. Lens. Lens. Yo escucho esto. No sé si ustedes clase. Lens. Ah, lens. lens. No, eso escucho yo. No, es ah. learned. Don't worry. We still have Lern. time. Lern. Lern. <laughs> Great. Go, go, go. You can do it. Learned. 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 There you go. One more time. Learn. Learns. Now, ahora en pasado. Lo escucho en presente. Learned. Learns. Uh, you can try it. At the end, I'm going to ask you. Okay? Al final, le vuelvo a preguntar. Okay? Learned. Don't okay. worry. Para esto es la clase. Okay? Para que nos corrijamos y que practiquemos. So, don't worry. Gustavo, go ahead, please. You're the next one. Okay, teacher. Play, play, play. No, termina el diseño. Play, okay. show, close, open, enjoy, love, love, try, rain, learn, clean. Okay, this one. And this one, please. Again, Gustavo. Close. Low. Pero los escucho en presente. Close. 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 Yes. yes. Loves. Loved. Low. Low. Close. One more time. One more time. Close. Okay. Y loves. Load. Now it's okay. Very good job. So don't worry. Si los corrijo porque los escucho en presente. Quiero escucharlos it's en. It's microphone teacher. Are you sure? Is the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't think so. Uh -uh. No, no, it's not the microphone. Who is missing? Who is the last one? ¿Quién se me está escondiendo? Let me see. Eden Nilsson. It's your time to participate. Go, please. Which one, teacher? This one. The same. Me. Yeah, the same. Played, showed, closed, opened, enjoyed, loved, tried, rained, learned, cleaned. Very good pronunciation, no corrections. So, what I could notice. Lo que pude notar es que el más fácil para ustedes es el de la T al final y it. Pero el que más se les complica es D. D. Ok. This is the one that you need to practice more. So, don't forget to practice. Practice makes perfect. Ok. But great. You see, this is like. No, ya todos participaron. Yes. It is like a way for you to practice. Okay? Practice pronunciation. At the end, you're not going to forget the pronunciation. So, let's go back to the platform. Let me see. Yes. Ya está la plataforma de regreso. And let's see. We're we just going to watch this video. So, we can continue practicing with irregular verbs. Okay? So, let me see. Here we are. Three, two, and one. This is. Let's go back to section number four. This is the one. No, this is section three. Okay, give me a second. Did you watch the videos already? Ya vieron los videos de la section four. Yes, no? Yes, I did, teacher. Very good job. So this is the last one. 
Ok, irregular verbs. Vámonos con verbos irregulares. These are the ones that we have for today. Let's go. Negative statements in the past. Ok. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, Go, the past is went. Meet, the past is met. Come, the past is came. Have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense. Did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so this was the video for today, regular and irregular verbs. Let's go back to the presentation. And look, I have some examples here, the same examples from the video. And these are six different examples with affirmative and negative sentences in the past. But in this case, we are using irregular verbs. He was mentioning in the video that for irregular verbs, we don't have rules. Para los verbos irregulares, no tenemos reglas. Entonces, solo nos queda memorizarlos. No hay otra forma de aprenderlos que memorizarlos, ¿ok? Memorizarlos. Para los verbos regulares, tenemos reglas de pronunciación y de escritura. Pero los irregulares simplemente tenemos que memorizar el verbo en presente y luego en 
pasado. There's no other way. No hay otra forma. Es la forma que creo que todos hemos aprendido los verbos. Es la forma que también me toca a mí memorizar listas y listas. Pero es más fácil cuando vamos entendiendo de qué es el verbo. Y así no se, no se nos olvida. Por ejemplo, look at this one. We have the verb in past. And we have the verb. Eh, I mean, in affirmative and negative. Look at this one. I did my homework and I didn't do my homework. Identifiquemos el verbo es do. Y en pasado, did. Verb in present is do and verb in past is did. So, can you identify the verbs in present and the verb in past from the other pictures? Pueden ayudarme a identificar el verbo en presente y en pasado de las otras pictures que tenemos ahí. Vamos, clase. Anyone, cualquiera puede participar. In past, got, got up. Bueno, miren el ejemplo in... del primero. Yo lo hice. Do and did. Ok, do and did. Vamos al siguiente. Go. Got and. In present. Present. Get up. Get, up. get up. Get up. Wait, let me do something. Voy a borrar de nuevo so I can make it smaller. Está muy grande. So let's go here. We have present. Y agregamos una columna para past. Bien, class. Here we go. Present and past. The first one, el primero tenemos. Do and did. did. Very good. The second one. El segundo. Get up. Very good. Get up. Got up. And the past. Got up. Got up. Got up. Very good. Can you continue with number three? Go. Go. The past. Went. Very good. Number four. Meet. Meet. Past. Met. Met. Continue, please, with number five. Come. Come. Past. Come. Day. Very good. Came. And the last one. Have. Have. Past. Had. Had. So look at the example. Do, did. Get up, got up, or got up. Go, went, meet, met, come, came, and haven't, had. Okay? <laughs> so when we want to make affirmative sentences, we are going to use the formula. Do you remember the formula? ¿Cómo seguimos la formula? We have subject. ¿Qué ponemos after the subject? Verb in past. Este es para afirmativos. And past. then we have complement. Complement. Very good. As simple as that. Así de fácil, ¿ok? Complement. How about for negative? Para negativo cambia algo. ¿Qué le hacemos? Yes, for negative. Subject. Subject. Plus uh, oh. didn't. Plus didn't. And plus verb in the present. Verb in the present. Must complement. Ok, ¿cómo le llamamos al didn't? ¿Qué es eso? Es un verbo auxiliar. O le decimos auxiliary. Auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb. Verbo auxiliar, ¿ok? Auxiliary verb. Didn't. Auxiliary verb. Es un verbo, la verdad. So, here we have the examples. Auxiliary verb. So, let me see. Can you help me out to read the examples? Veamos los ejemplos. Number one. Josué, please. Number one. Affirmative and negative. Go. This one. Solo leerlo. Go. This one. 
Okay, teacher. Great. Uh, I did my homework. Uh, I didn't do the laundry. Very good job. Okay, wait. Next one, Edenilson, please. Edenilson, this is for you, number two. The number two? Yes, please. You were up at noon. You didn't get up at eight. Very good job. Can you continue, Ruth? This one. Can you read the examples, Ruth? Yes. Aquí ve, hable. Es que tiene problemas ahorita. Ok, right. don't worry. She, yeah, ahorita. She went to the books. She didn't go to the library. Ok, gracias Ruth por el esfuerzo. Le agradezco mucho por participar. Eh, Guadalupe, Lupita, can you read the next one, please? Number you four. Your, we need our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. Excellent pronunciation. Excellent job. Jorge, can you continue? You can home late. You didn't come home early. Very good job. And Gustavo, the last one, please. This is for you. Okay. They had a barbecue. They didn't have a picnic. Okay, they didn't have a picnic. They didn't have a picnic. Very good. Have a picnic. They didn't have a picnic. Very good. So if you could notice, this is the way that we create sentences in past. We can have affirmative and negative sentences. For example, if I ask you, si yo les pregunto, hey, you know, eh, díganme de ellos. These two. Uh, did they have a barbecue? Tuvieron una barbacoa el sábado? Did they have a barbecue on Saturday? And you say, no, they didn't have a barbecue. Mm -hmm. They had. Mm -hmm. They had a picnic. They didn't have a picnic, okay? Very good job. Así, esa es la conversación que podemos tener, okay? Oh, for example, eh, did she come early? Hablemos de ella. Miren información. Did sí, she no come veo, home early? Did she come home early? And you say, no, she came home late. Vino a casa temprano? No. She came home late in a casa tarde. So that's why we need to use the correct verbs, okay? In this case, in past. So let's go to the practice. Vámonos ya a la práctica. Les voy a poner un par de verbos en pasado. Irregulares para que puedan practicar la pronunciation, okay? This is very important as well. Necesito que practiquemos con los verbos. Here we go. Let me see. We are going to complete a conversation. Well, two conversations. Dos conversaciones. Here we go. So let's go to groups. Yo les envío la lista que vamos a practicar. Ahora. This is just a speaking practice, okay? A speaking practice. Mm -hmm. Y al final. Mm -hmm. Vamos a los grupos. Ahorita les comparto en WhatsApp la lista. Three, two, and one. Le...
practice teacher. Okay, let's practice yeah. pronunciation. Just let's practice. Vamos a leer. Uh -huh. y en pasado. It's just practice pronunciation, okay? So you can identify verbs in A. Okay, solo practicamos la pronunciación. No, no, practicar. Yes. Ah, no, solo es la pronunciación. No vamos yes. a hacer el, el, el ah, diálogo. No, no, la pronunciación. No, 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 diálogo. Ah. Go, please. Ah, ok. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta teach? Uh, all right. All right. Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Y el, sí, el pasado. All right. A road. A road. Traten de identificar los que conocen. Don't worry. Al final, mm -hmm. practicamos mm -hmm. como clase. Go. Ok. Ok. Okay. A right, a road, a wait, a walk, a walk. V was word. Verbs, words. words. Ajá. Bits and bits. Ese es el mismo. Become, 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 became, 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 fly, fold, spin, fun, fit, 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 then fit, el otro como se, Flee. Flee. Ese no sé cómo se pronuncia. Flee. No sé cómo se pronuncia ese. Fly. 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 No. Fly. No, fly con doble. Bueno, yo. Ok. A rose. A walk. Was. Were. Born. Beat. Became, became, being, the next, folks, fun, fit, 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 flow, Flow, for, for bay, for good, it is flow. Este? No, flow, el de arriba. Fly, bola. El siguiente, el de arriba, que está flow. No, de abajo, abajo, de abajo, de ese flow. Este, no, no sé. No. No, 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 tampoco, no sé qué. No sé usted qué flum. Pita, lo pronuncia usted. Ok, let's come back just for a little bit. Volvamos un ratito a la sala principal, please. Uh, Everybody. Let's come back. It's time to come back. You know, I was listening to some of you. Hi, teacher. Hello, Alberto. No quiero que se me frustren o que se compliquen. No entiendo la pronunciación. No, it's not the idea. No es la idea, por eso mejor lo saco de la sala y volvemos acá todos juntos para explicar algo. ¿Ok? Don't you worry. No se me vayan a frustrar. Son irregulares eso, ¿verdad? Son irregulares. That's the point. Eso es lo que pasa con los irregular verbs. Saul pasado y participio back. también. Ese es otro tema. El participio es otra cosa. Ok, so listen class. Quiero ver. Yes, creo que ya tengo a todos de regreso ya. I was checking some of the groups and 
you know, no quiero que se confundan y que sientan de que esto es súper difícil, que no se puede hacer. Claro, se puede lograr. Solo que a veces no tenemos tantas sesiones como quisiéramos para tocar este tipo de temas, que son temas que sí son necesarios aprenderlos con un poco más de detenimiento. Cuando es, en casos de gramáticas, el simple present y el pasado son de los temas que más pueden tomar tiempo, ¿ok? Los demás, el presente progresivo, el uso de auxiliares, son temas que se comprenden en una clase rapidísimo. But in this case, with irregular verbs, if you go and check, eh, you can find, you know, a lot. Pueden encontrar demasiados verbos. Recordemos que es un idioma el que estamos aprendiendo. Lo único que nos queda es práctica. Y sí, creo que vamos a ir mejor practicando por grupos la pronunciación. Porque son demasiados verbos. Y si no escuchamos cómo se pronuncia correctamente, no voy a saber si estoy haciéndolo bien. ¿Ok? So, don't worry. Mejor nos vamos a temas de pronunciación later on, tomorrow. So, let me check. Déjenme chequear la última parte. We already know. Ya sabemos cómo hacer affirmative en negative. ¿Ok? Ya sabemos cómo hacer afirmaciones y negaciones en pasado. ¿Qué nos falta nada más? What are we missing? The verbs. Yeah, the verbs and questions. Interrogative, interrogative sentences. Vámonos con las preguntas. That for me, this is the easiest way. Para mí es lo más fácil. Hacer preguntas. Why? Because I just need to add an auxiliary verb. Veamos mejor las tres cosas primero y luego nos vamos a la pronunciación. Look, if you go to the platform, you still have a video. Tenemos un video, pero mejor vámonos a la explicación de un solo. Y pueden reforzarlo con la plataforma. When we want to make questions in past, we have the same to follow a formula, okay? But in this case, it is like that you are writing a sentence in the affirmative way and then you are making it questioned. Es más fácil hacer una pregunta porque es como que estemos afirmando y esa afirmación podemos convertirla en pregunta, okay? But what is the formula that we need to have? I told you, les dije que tenemos el auxiliar, verbo auxiliar did, siempre va a ser did, no podemos hacer Oraciones con didn't en forma de pregunta. Siempre nuestros auxiliares did. Y luego tenemos lo siguiente. Sujeto did you. Y el verbo en presente. Porque si tenemos un auxiliar en la oración, eso ya no nos permite modificar el verbo. Siempre en su forma base. Did you have a good summer? Did you have a good summer? So let's identify. Identifiquemos en esta oración el verbo que estamos utilizando. ¿Es regular o irregular? Have. Have. This is an irregular verb. Ok, hagamos entonces ahora una oración con un verbo regular. De los que se acuerden. Did. Oh, pongámoslo en negro. Let's go with black. Un verbo regular que se acuerden de la clase anterior o de la práctica anterior. Did you? What? Watch. Wow, me leen en la mente. Eso estaba pensando. Did you watch movies yesterday? So. It doesn't matter. No importa si el verbo que estoy usando es regular o irregular. La fórmula siempre es la misma. Miren, no importa el sujeto que esté utilizando. La fórmula siempre es la misma. Podríamos decir, did she have a good summer? Did he have a good summer? Estoy utilizando otros sujetos. 
no importa el sujeto que use y no importa si es el verbo regular o irregular, siempre en pasado las preguntas se van a formular de la misma manera, con did al final, al, al inicio, perdón, did. That's why. Yes, Alberto, tell me. Teacher, tengo una duda. Eh, digamos en español es como algo común decir, no fuiste a tal lugar. Uh -huh. En inglés no se puede decir, didn't you go uh, to the park yesterday. Sí se puede decir, didn't you go, pero eh, como les explico. Ya sería nomás como formulada como pregunta, si no es como una como afirmación. Didn't you go? Es que es otro tipo, es otro, otra pieza de gramática. Se le llama, let me check. Ya no sería en sí pregunta, pregunta. Pero no quiero confundirlo, Alberto, pero sí se puede, pero se le llama diferente, ya no sería el pasado, ¿ok? Si quiere, le envío o mañana traigo más ejemplos de eso, pero sí se puede, pero no eh, estaríamos utilizando la fórmula del simple past. Se le llama de otra forma. So, don't worry, no quiero confundir. Basémonos ahorita en esta fórmula. Did, subject, the verb in present, always. En complement, and don't forget the question mark. Si no tenemos el signo de interrogación, es una oración incompleta. Did you have a good summer? Did you watch movies yesterday? And that is the correct way. And if we want to reply with yes or no, we have two choices. Podemos responder de una forma corta y de una forma completa. Lo que más se usa en inglés es la forma corta. Siempre estamos buscando ahorrar palabras y en la escritura también, evitar escribir mucho. So, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you watch movies yesterday? Mm, yes, I did. No, I didn't. So this is the closest, uh, the closest part in pronunciation. So look at this one. How if we want to make a complete sentence? ¿Qué si quiero responder de la forma completa? Did you have a good summer? ¿Cómo respondería? Si es afirmativo, siempre diciendo yes. I had a good summer. This is the complete form. Yes, I had a good summer or negative. No. I didn't have a good summer. Look. So, which is the easiest one? ¿Cuál sería la forma más fácil de responder y correcta? No es que sea incorrecta. La forma corta. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. But if you want to formulate answers and replies in the longest way, you can do it as well. También pueden hacerlo en la forma completa. Solo le agregamos yes o no al inicio y luego la oración en afirmativo. Yes, I had a good summer. No. I didn't have a good summer, okay? So this is in the case of questions and replies. Preguntas sobre este tema. Preguntas, yes, no. Aparte de la que tenía Alberto, alguna consulta o pregunta con preguntas en el pasado. Class, are you still there? Me siento sola. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Todo claro. No, no está claro, teacher. Questions. Solo los veo sonreír. What happened? Toda la vida. O sea, toda la vida el verbo va a ir en presente. ¿no? Siempre. Y no solo con ti, cualquier auxiliar que tengamos. Siempre oh, okay. el verbo en presente. Miren el presente simple. Do you have a, a notebook? Ya estamos usando el do. Siempre el verbo va a ir en presente. Siempre que hay un auxiliar do o did, vamos a utilizar el verbo en su forma. Si tenemos el auxiliar can, 
Can you play soccer? Siempre va a ir el verbo en su forma base. Y no importa con qué sujeto lo estemos usando. Puede ser he, she, and it. Y siempre va a ser en su forma base. ¿Ok? Questions. No questions. No? So let me go to the platform. We still have four minutes. I don't want you to get confused. Esto puede ser confuso a veces, pero no, don't, don't worry. This is just a matter of practice. Solo es práctica y nos vamos con todo, okay? If you go to the platform and you want to practice with these topics, we have exercise or knowledge checked 4.9. Y también tenemos el 4.12. Ambos son con pasado. Look, in this one, it's a little bit long. We have different conversations. Acá tenemos varias conversaciones y por eso les explicaba ahorita hacer preguntas. ¿Por qué? Porque combinamos pregunta, afirmación o también negación. Bien. Pregunta. Respuesta en negativo y una afirmación. Aquí podemos ya practicar un poquito más. No sé, let me ask you, ¿cuántos ya completaron esta sección individualmente en la plataforma? Who finished with this section? Ivania, Alberto, very good job. Who else? Sure. It is very good. Jorge, Carlos. So how did you feel it? ¿Cómo lo sintieron? Was it easy, difficult, Ellen Nilsson as well? How did you feel it? Easy, kind of easy, difficult teacher. How? How was it? More or less. More or less, right? Yes, because it's past. So listen. What is my goal? Siempre quiero que cuando completemos en la plataforma, no solo completemos porque si me la dio incorrecta, ah, entonces esta debe ser la correcta. No, que sepamos identificar por qué estoy dando esa respuesta. Porque muchos me lo han hecho, no crean que solo su grupo, nada. Yo sé que ustedes no, pero hay otros grupos que, ah, como me lo dio incorrecto, entonces es la otra opción. No, 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 Please. no. <laughs> no, don't do that. Tell me. Example, yesterday when I practiced the platform, yes, I don't understand when you said uh, where and what. Okay. Example, the, the, the phrase is, my parent, I was born in Japan. Okay. It's incorrect. Yes. I think I... The past is was because the problem is it my parents, o sea, mis padres y yo. Entonces, the correct is where. Where because it's plural it's and you are talking about uh -huh. three people, exactly. O sea, en español, yo no, a mí me, a mí me costó saber qué prevalece, si el singular o el plural, okay. porque decía yo, pero tengo el I, o sea, yo puse, al inicio puse was y me salió mala. Entonces, pero luego entendí, de que, o lo debo entender, que prevalece el plural porque habla de mis papás y yo que nacimos Exacto. en tal lugar. Sí, y eso me gusta lo que Carlos está diciendo. Tenemos un minuto todavía. Siempre tenemos que encontrar una respuesta lógica. ¿Por qué entonces no es was? En este caso, ¿por qué es where? Tratemos de explicarnos, así nuestro cerebro se acostumbra a dar la respuesta correcta. ¿Ok? No solo vamos automáticamente respondiendo o si ya tengo las opciones selecciono cualquiera no porque así vamos aprendiendo y no vamos dejando este tema como que no entendí no pregunté no aclaré las dudas y pasamos a otro tema y viene otro tema y otro y así nos vamos descuidando de temas anteriores ok por eso les insisto cualquier duda consulta ahí este chat díganme teacher no entiendo esto y yo ya les explico individualmente o en la clase, ok, nos pausamos, enfocamos en esas actividades y vamos con el siguiente tema, si no, vamos a frustrarnos y no es la idea, ok, la idea es que ustedes vayan avanzando 
con este tema, más que todo con el pasado. Past. Por eso les pausé mejor las sesiones, para no practicar y que se sientan confundidos, sino que vayamos mejor un poco más despacio con este tema. So, class. This was a very hard class, but don't worry. Tomorrow is Friday, it's going to be the last class for section number four, and we are going to start with section number five tomorrow, okay? So, si no han completado todavía los ejercicios de la section number four y tienen dudas, traten de tomar el tiempo, tal vez en la noche, cuando ya estén un poco más relajados, o Está mañana en la, la clase. ¿okay? No, ya no. Yo ya no, ya no. Gracias a Dios, ya ah. regresó. Toda la mañana sí estuvo. Me di cuenta tipo siete que estaba bloqueada, pero ya. Está de regreso, ¿ok? So don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. After the office, I want the beers. Ok, but that is on Saturday, not tomorrow. <laughs> ¿Que lo voy a invitar a qué, dice Carlos? No, no, Carlos. Come on, Carlos. Que se había hecho una cerveza después de la oficina. Ok, yes. but... <laughs> in, in English, Abby. In English. In English, ok. You need to practice in, your in English. In English, I don't know, no beer. <laughs> Come on, Carlos. So, oh, class, you're free to go right now. Thank you so much for joining the class. I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye. Have a you great see afternoon. You tomorrow, teacher. Bye, bye. Tomorrow. see you tomorrow, bye. teacher. Bye. bye. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Bye.